This week's study is looking at number 10 in this series on the church and the community, entitled Jesus Won Their Confidence. And as we look at the Gospels, we see exactly that, that Jesus spent time with the people so that they could get to know him, so that they could trust him. Winning someone's confidence means that they then can trust in you. And we're given examples in our study for this time of various people who trusted God. We have Abraham, who trusted God, believed in him, and it was counted for him as righteousness. We also have Moses, another good friend of God, who trusted God as a trustworthy person. He had confidence in God, that God would do what he said. Similarly, Daniel and Nehemiah and various other followers of God down through time. And Jesus himself is especially wanting to talk about trust. Behind me you see a boatyard. They're building boats here behind me, small boats to go out on the water. You have to have trust in your boat to do that. You wouldn't go about out in a boat that was leaking. You wouldn't go out in a boat that wasn't seaworthy because you have to have trust that your boat is going to carry you across the water to where you need to go. Similarly, in the case of our trust in God, we need to trust in Him. We need to believe in Him. We need to be sure that He is who He says that He is. In the same way, then, we need to build confidence in other people. If we want to convince them that God is worth following, they have to trust in us first. Jesus won their confidence. In the great controversy, it's really a question of who do you trust? Do you trust God? Do you trust the devil and his way of thinking? Who do you really trust? Who is proven worthy of trust? Throughout his life, Jesus proved that you could have confidence in him and because you could have confidence in him, then you could trust him for salvation. But before he could get people to believe in that, he had to convince them that what he was saying was the truth, that he could do what he said, and that he was truly interested in them. So as we try and work for those around us as part of the church in the community, let's remember that. And let's remember that we have to win people's confidence before we can share anything about who we are, what we're doing, the kind of God we serve because they need to believe and trust in us. May you do just that and may God bless you as you study.